Hey everyone, this is Samantha and I am officially 20 weeks post-op with Dr. Suport and my life is kind of moving back to normal so I've been pretty busy as far as everything goes so I decided that while I was making a video for Trans Youth Channel, you can see that down below, um, may as well make one here. So I'm usually brutally honest in my update videos. I try to be as brutally honest as possible because I've noticed that when a lot of people sugarcoat these things, it makes information a lot more difficult to discern and to find. And because of that, uh, when it comes to dilation, when it comes to how my life is going, I tend to get a lot of people saying thank you and a lot of people asking for their questions. And before I moved forward in this video, I wanted to say that it is completely fine and okay for you to contact me via Facebook. Just search Samantha Venia Logan. I'm the only one with that last middle name, and that's V-E-N-I-A. And I'll be happy to answer your questions, of course, at my convenience. Um, if it is too private, I'll let you know, but I'll probably tell you I have only ever actually done that once in my life. And the question that was originally asked, I would answer at this current point in time. So it's perfectly fine to contact me, especially if you're looking at going to Dr. Suporn. That's a lot of information that you need to know. That said, I'd like to go ahead and start with the physical aspects being dilation and everything like that before I move on to general life things, because that's probably going to be the bulk of the video. As far as surgery goes, I do not have very much feeling yet, but my feeling in my outer portions are coming back. Um, it's kind of really shocking and really weird. You kind of feel normal down there now. It's really weird. I actually went biking today for the first time since surgery. I've been on my bike and for those of you who do know me, my bike is one of my favorite things to do. And um, it went fairly well. I was able to go, I'd say about a mile and a half, two miles um, away from my house and back. So that actually worked pretty well. Feeling in and of itself, I can feel the front portions, but there's still a lot of very numb sensations. Can't really feel anything inside during dilation, but I'm told that that's probably not going to come out until post six months um, and like after that. Like you're supposed to end up with like your last stitch popping as of month five or six, and then you're not actually going to get feeling inside until like month eight or nine if you get it at all. That said, dilation is still two times a day, and I will use that to segue to my life portion of it all. I am sick of dilating. I will be completely brutally honest there. It is really annoying. And it's not necessarily so much that same wound on the arm that I originally explained it. Also link description if you want to know what I'm talking about. But it is getting in the way of my life. I have been doing a lot of uh, work with Trans Youth Channel and I've been trying to figure out how to get dilation, work, and Trans Youth Channel all in my schedule and it'd be perfectly fine if I just didn't have to dilate that one extra time. So I'm going to be extremely happy when it bumps down to once, uh, once a day here in around month six or so. The butt cushion that was given to me for um, surgery is horrendous. If you are going to Thailand or if you are coming back from Thailand, I highly recommend shopping for some better butt cushions because it's it's probably going to be worth your money. I didn't think that it was and now I am here today thinking I should have gotten another butt cushion because they really kind of look pretty bad and to some people they might look kind of adorable but after you carry it around for like four or five months just no just no not a no not just, no i also applied for a job and i have a new job which is absolutely fantastic i'm looking to get back into advocacy looking to get back into everything and for that, I kind of need to build up my bank account more. So now that surgery is over and done, I'm moving on with my life. Uh, the new job is actually going to be able to pay a lot more, and it's directly in line with my career aspects as far as Trans Youth Channel goes, because I'll actually be working for a company that does communication studies and offers email and uh, event marketing to other companies. So I'm really, really excited about that, but it is also a full-time position. It'll be about 40 hours as far as that goes, and I'm not really too sure if my body can handle it. So I'm actually really hoping that I can, and we will see, because if in about a week I post another video just like, oh, help me, then I probably can't handle it. 
However, just wish me luck, wish me the best of luck. And if you do want to go ahead and get in contact with me, once again, don't mind at all. If you have any questions, definitely toss them down here in the comments, descriptions. I'm still wrestling with the whole idea of getting my partner to go. So please send in your questions down here or on my Facebook page or Google, and I'll see if I can get my partner to join in with me. I've been meaning to do that for months on end, and it's a great idea but we just haven't been able to get it coordinated. And your questions would help us with that. So if you do want to meet my partner, come up with a question. That's basically it. Bye, guys.